Hi, I'm Kyle Smith with Lincoln Electric Laser Solutions. Today I would like to introduce to you a revolutionary process, Precision Power Laser, or PPL for short. Lincoln Electric has been involved in the arc welding industry for over 100 years at this point. It's only as recent as the last decade that we became involved in laser processing. With our vast experience of equipment and consumables, it made perfect sense to couple this with a laser and open up endless possibilities across multiple industries. PPL is an arc-free hot wire laser process, a combination of a resistance heated filler material and a laser beam of large diameter. The goal is to get the wire as hot as it physically can before it enters into the laser beam, but avoid the arcing threshold of that material. Think of this like a hair dryer. You apply current to something with resistance and then it heats up. But you also have to think of the wire like a fuse. If too much current is applied to a fuse, the conductor will break You'll need to reduce your current load and reinstall a fuse and move forward. In the welding world, the machines are capable of sustaining an open circuit voltage. We also know this is MIG welding. MIG welding is a much higher heat input process and lacks the same amount of control as PPL. In order to operate at this level, the Lincoln Electric PowerWave R450 with PPL waveform actively monitors the status of the preheat in the wire. By means of a closed loop feedback system, it has the capability to suppress arcing at a very high rate, thus maximizing the temperature and consistency of the wire fed into the puddle. This is the precision power laser difference. Whether it be welding or cladding, precision power laser can be implemented to improve production rates and quality. Laser cladding offers many benefits over arc-based cladding processes. It's ideal for corrosion and wear resistance when the parts to be processed are very detailed or their exact chemistry is to be met. High deposition rates with high travel speed and minimal heat input are the ideal characteristics of a cladding process. The more common arc processes such as TIG, MIG, submerged arc often require multiple layers to hit proper chemistry and often deposit thicker layers with more heat input. To address issues with arc processing, laser cladding with wire and powder have been implemented across many industries. With laser powder cladding, all of the energy to melt the powder and the substrate is coming from the laser. Some of this powder goes unmelted and is further contaminated and unusable. In PPL cladding, a substantial amount of the energy comes from the resistance heating of the wire and the utilization rate is very near 100%. This results in melting more material per kilowatt of laser energy. PPL cladding will get you somewhere in the range of one kilogram per hour per kilowatt of laser power applied. PPL is TIG welding quality at two to three times MIG welding speeds. A high quality deposit at high travel speeds with almost infinite control over all aspects of the weld. As a completely non-synergic process, no longer are the limitations of an arc defining factors in weld speed, size, and quality. Travel speeds in excess of three meters per minute are possible depending on material thickness and laser power used. It is a great solution on difficult to weld materials such as galvanized steel, aluminum, very thin materials. It's an excellent solution for things that most arc processes struggle on. A great application for PPL welding is on the modern electric vehicle battery enclosure. Cars are powered by a battery pack, which is typically housed in an aluminum box. These boxes vary in size depending on the vehicle structure, but all of the battery trays need some sort of joining to create them. This joining must ensure that the battery pack is completely sealed to avoid any environmental elements from entering the pack. Welding is a preferred method for joining battery trays. However, the amount of welding can cause excess production times and excess distortion. Due to the materials being used, autogenous laser welding is not an option. 6000 series material requires filler to be added to avoid cracking. And second off, traditional small spot laser beam welding will not accommodate the gaps that we are seeing in these enclosures. The best solution for welding battery trays is one that can travel fast, have low heat input, excellent quality, and tolerate gap conditions. That process is known as Precision Power Laser from Lincoln Electric. Precision Power Laser is a game changer. It's flexible, it's forgiving, and can be implemented across many different industries. Adding heat through the filler material has proven to be an extremely efficient means of increasing deposition rates and travel speeds while reducing heat input. 
That's what makes Precision Power Laser a revolutionary process. For more information, contact me directly at lasersolutions at lincolnelectric.com.